The word sport in the name of the Hyundai Santa Fe Sport distinguishes this two-row crossover from its bigger Santa Fe cousin. While its dynamic resume isn't exactly a thriller, the Santa Fe Sport has plenty of other virtues, amplified by a batch of 2017 updates. Exterior revisions are modest, a redesigned front fascia with a new grille and headlamps, new taillights and exhaust tips, silver trim for the rocker panels, new wheel designs, 17, 18, and 19 inches, and optional new LED daytime running lights. Design tweaks are expected at a midterm update, but Hyundai didn't really have to make sweeping changes, the Santa Fe Sport looked pretty snappy to begin with. The interior is enhanced by the availability of new 7.0 and 8.0 inch touchscreens, a 5.0 inch screen is standard. Our top of the line test vehicle had the 8.0 inch screen, which includes navigation and plays nice with Android Auto but not Apple CarPlay. We're happy to report that the touchscreen functions are augmented by traditional knobs and switches. Other new for 2017 features include an available power height adjustable passenger seat, an Infinity audio system, an upgrade of Hyundai's Blue Link telematics, and a 360-degree camera system, one of multiple additions to the safety inventory. Other new safety features include a standard rear-view camera and the availability of adaptive cruise control with pedestrian detection and automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, and adaptive headlamps. These features, plus a solid structure, add up to top safety ratings, 5 stars from NHTSA and top safety pick plus from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Relaxed Sporty Handling is a surprisingly strong suit thanks to better-than-average roll stiffness. Skid pad road holding measures in at a so-so 0.75 grams. The better-than-average electrically assisted power steering conveys at least some tactile information to the driver. The ride can get a little choppy over patchwork pavement and or washboard dirt roads, but otherwise it is smooth. And the Santa Fe Sport is exceptionally quiet in most operating conditions. However, acceleration is tepid, the Santa Fe requires 7.6 seconds to get to 60 miles per hour and finishes the quarter mile in 15.9 seconds. This is far from face distorting and makes an unflattering contrast with our test results of a 2015 model, which was a full second quicker to 60 miles per hour and also quicker through the quarter mile. Both test vehicles were similarly equipped and both were a little pudgy at 4,063 pounds for the current example and 4,021 pounds for the 2015 model. But a 42 pound difference isn't enough to account for the performance disparity. Chalk it up to the 2015 version of the 2.0 liter turbo, which cranked out 264 horsepower and 269 pounds to foot versus 240 horsepower and 250 pounds to foot for the 2017 engine that has been adopted as part of the refresh. The upside of the power reduction is a small EPA city fuel economy uptick, 19 miles per gallon, 1 mile per gallon more than before. We averaged 22 miles per gallon this time, versus 18 miles per gallon for the 2015 version, 